Five hours ago. Who is without trying TV? Anybody know who that is? Shout out to without trying. Without trying on Instagram. I without trying. That's the big homie. Get all the money out. Get all the booty out. Get all the bitches out. Niggas know what's up. Hit them up at without trying. Do what it do. Without trying, gang. We ain't on that, bro. No offense, though, y'all. No offense, Big Eon. We chilling, though. We ain't you, Big Psycho. Oh, y'all niggas cancel, man. Y'all on dick ass in jail, man. I swear to God, y'all niggas ain't told the nigga nothing else. Y'all on straight dick ass in jail, man. We three months of that bullshit. We ain't even trying to hit that shit no more. What's <laughs> wrong? Nah, no, for real, niggas got to the whole You niggas ain't told the young niggas how to get no money. Y'all ain't showed us nothing but all crummy old head shit. Like, the sister old head's been in this shit the last three months. What the fuck? They embarrassing this shit on my mother. They all live with bitches. Ain't none of them got no houses. All of them driving female cars. They all broke as shit. They call each other hot. They on ass. A rock of weird shit. Like, I can't tell you one business these niggas. Of course they said they was business owners. They just ain't registered businesses. The fuck? Not one video about an LLC like or some shit. I nigga be trying to conversate with y'all. Still don't have communication with y'all. But now I realize we don't even want to talk to y'all. Y'all niggas be dick riding. The big homie. He got this jail story. Whoever got the the littest jail story control the nerd deal. You can't say his name because big homie uptown gonna be mad. At you. Well, guess what? All you strong ass jail niggas. Fuck you niggas. I'm gonna just to all you niggas that be with Eon, you big ass jail penitentiary niggas. Fuck you niggas. You niggas left y'all mothers on stuck. You niggas left y'all kids out with this motherfucker. Fuck you niggas. I'm gonna let you niggas know. All you niggas a piece of shit. Slap you niggas on the motherfucking top of y'all head and let y'all know y'all piece of shit. <laughs> Fuck wrong with you. you left your motherfucking kids to go squat your ass and cough your balls and make some coffee and shit with some other niggas with they dicks out and you think you a gangster. You better get the fuck on. Tired of you niggas. You niggas ain't never did shit. You niggas walked to the end of a hallway, coughed and, and spread your ass for a white man. <laughs> you niggas over here happy about TVs. You niggas went to sleep at 9 o'clock at night behind the door for 20 motherfucking years. You went to bed at 9 o'clock. You illiterate ass nigga. Fuck wrong with you. Just for all you old ass niggas. Don't come home with that wash, that bad shit. You niggas better come home, buy a biz and a house, and go live y'all motherfucking life. Anything other than the biz and the house, when you come home, your ass is failure. Every nigga in the penitentiary, real stand up nigga, them old niggas come home and go take off to the moon. All them other niggas come home and be Eon and Big Psych on my mother. It's two type of niggas. It's the Eon and Big Psych type of niggas. Then it's that nigga Kim Kardashian free. That nigga out here living his best life. All the mentor programs. I see him on the news and shit. It's them type of niggas. You can get that old head that learned this motherfucking lesson that ain't never going back to jail. Or you can get them, them big psych ass niggas tell you how to build a knife. Or you can get them Eon Williams uh, Project Empowerment uh, Better Your Life Free Incarcerated Ass Nigga. Oh my mother, you only get two type of niggas. Some of them old head niggas, don't get me wrong, they come out the motherfucking feds and go running. I'm talking about straight to the motherfucking Cadillac truck, the house, the family, have a baby, they connect the dots, make shit work. You feel me? Them real niggas, the real old head niggas that they had been in the book. They ain't come out here on the motherfucking IG live. They ain't trying to make no motherfucking YouTube channel or none of that. That ain't even in they stilo. They ain't showing you how to build a knife. They don't even want you to know they came home from jail. They so embarrassed about jail, they trying to hide that shit. Like when you hear about the, yeah, they trying to hide that, they trying to change their last name. He would have married that girl to change his last name. He don't even want you to know he was in the penitentiary. He living so good. He don't even want to talk about that shit. All these niggas got to talk about is their glory days. Their glory days was a couple noodles, a knife, and a, a nigga dick. <laughs> All these niggas talking about is a knife, a bowl of noodles, and a nigga dick. Shit is crazy. In the last three months since these old heads been on here, I ain't heard the word penis, dick, balls, and ass. This man, I swear to God, they just came and gave this motherfucker down. Oh, my mother. They said DC jail niggas on ass. And every since them old DC jail niggas came in these lives, it been dick, ass, pink, pants, and balls, nuts, all type of homo shit. Oh, my mother. This is it, ass and jail stories. I've never been to jail in a day in my life. Why the fuck is y'all coming away with all this? Y'all bringing ass on here. Talking about niggas and jumpers, dicks, nut, all oh, that's weird shit. Like, what the fuck is up with you old creep ass niggas? Niggas ain't got nothing to show for it. Like, the real men, the real men don't even fuck with y'all. It's stand up niggas in this motherfucking world that went to jail and came home and you niggas outshadowing them with this bullshit, nigga. 
I got real uncles that went to jail, did 30 years, all the way to the door, stand up niggas, came home, got families and trying to maintain. They don't know how to work no motherfucking Instagram, nigga. Niggas call them about shit they nephew doing on Instagram. They don't even know how to DM me on Instagram. They call, they so motherfucking old, they calling my mother to tell my mother to get me to call them about some shit they heard on Instagram, not even knowing they can DM me on Instagram. They don't even know that. Nigga said your co-host don't own nothing, right? And your co-host don't own nothing. You mentioned all. Why would it's my co-host Mike? own anything? He's he he. First of all, my co-host is being compared to him. You know, my co-host in college. He's a college kid. The fuck you go to college? That's productive. Fuck you, someone. You don't got spring that. You got spring the fool. You don't gotta own nothing, bro. My man in college. Fuck you, someone. He a college kid. He didn't go to prison. He went to college. The fuck. This niggas we reward. These type of niggas can be around me. Can no fucking big psych be around me? Can no fucking Eon be around me? I be around college kids. He went to college. Some niggas went to prison. You look up to them niggas. We in the real world. Fuck. Ask them niggas what Division One college them niggas went to. The fuck wrong with you? Don't ever speak bad on nothing over here. I got you, Julie. This ain't nothing. I do this shit for a living, though. <laughs> them niggas went to... Some niggas go to college. Some niggas go to jail. Nigga praise going to jail like that's just an accomplishment. <laughs> Some make it into heaven. Some make it into hell. Nah, this how niggas be though, man. Niggas be like, you not tough, you never went to jail. You didn't ask to go to jail. Your dumb ass got caught that's doing something. That, on my mama. Like, that's what I'm saying. Like, niggas be like, man, you can't, some, bro, you never said lock me up. Your dumb ass got caught. The judge sentenced you to 17 years. You couldn't do nothing but that 17 years. I don't give a fuck if you wanted to go anywhere in the world. Your ass was going to jail. You had to go there. You didn't want to be there. So while you was there, you had to act like you wasn't scared there. It was days you were scared. You just couldn't show nobody you were scared. Nah, you, you in that scared shit. And look. If they were so tough, right, you should have asked them niggas why they ain't just shoot it out with the cops if they ain't want to go to jail. You should have no, shot if, it out with the cops. If right they was, if Eon went to jail so tough, why the fuck did he write the judge and the parole board to get out of jail and tell him that he was a changed man? Like, if you were so tough, like, you a killer, you a gangster? I never seen niggas be gangsters go to jail, jail so much, and then they start and writing the judge. Like, judge, fucking plea. Like, you like, like just judge, shot it out with the judge, cops. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to tell guns. I grew up in an unstable, I blame that shit on their mothers. I grew up in an unstable home. Like, damn, throw your mother under the bus. Your mother was a good mother. Your mother took care of you. You gonna write a note to the judge and the parole board. Tomorrow. I grew up in an unstable home. My father was doing like, damn, bruh. <laughs> the people took care of you, bruh. All the motherfucking games. I swear to God, the judge be like, you facing 60 years. They be going in there trying to get 17, 15. They try to get the low end. They suck the judge dick on my mother. If the judge, they knew they about to get 60 years, the judge pull him in the back of the chamber and say, Eon, just kiss the tip of this joint and give you seven and a half. Well, my mother, Eon, with the back of his lips, dick on his lips. Fuck you talking about? No, These diddy. niggas, it's not that gangster. All them niggas that got 60 years or better, ask them what they would have kissed the judge dick. Oh, my mother, all them niggas would have kissed the judge dick to fake ass gangster. <laughs> then you got to say, no diddy. <laughs> no, no diddy. Because look, though, no, they no, went diddy. to jail stop taking dick anyway. The fuck? No diddy. <laughs> No diddy. No diddy. No diddy. Hey, nah. Them old niggas freaky and shit. No diddy. Nah, bro. Hey, nah, Slim. Hey, that's crazy. No diddy is the new. Hey, bro, that John perfect, though, bro. Like, he made up the perfect word, bro. We was due for a new word, though, bro. It came at the right time, bro. No diddy. Yeah, man, shit. <laughs> That's crazy, though. Nah, for real, though. And then it'd be like, they swear they so real. Like, what makes you so real, bro? Your shit just like, a knife and a five by nine with some niggas make you real. They can drop your ass off in the middle of Iraq with some guns, and I can promise you, you ain't as real as you think you is. You real in that environment. They drop your ass off with one of them motherfucking terrorist little girls with the AK 47 and the shot shot she on, and she shut your ass off. They so. You ain't on that. It's a nine year old in Iran right now that will chase your ass down. You niggas gangsta. And five by nines and shit. You five by nine. This is kicking to them jail niggas, though, y'all. Do y'all not know in jail themselves live with shit so they can master themselves like a jail cell like this big, right? 
So inside this cell right here, Eon Big Sight, they can master everything inside of here. Like this is this, this is the world. This the world is big. A jail cell this big. They brain can master everything in here. You put them in here, they can turn water and eliminate. They can, they can make fire out of nothing. They can make a TV out of nothing. They can make a lasagna out of nothing. Man, they can do it all. Like, they get creative and shit. They geniuses in here in this low-ass cubicle. They brain only can work in confined spaces. They become astronauts in that motherfucker. They become smart as shit. Put them in the real world, they shit couldn't get out that bitch car. They couldn't get out that bitch house. They could start a YouTube channel. These motherfuckers couldn't get 100 views. These motherfuckers is nobody. Put their ass back in that low-ass bubble. My mother, they the realest nigga in that bubble. It's a rock of niggas in that bubble. They just get smart as shit in that bubble. It's like when you trapped in, your brain can think. Like, they just in the five by nine. It's a rock of shit. You don't got to think about nothing outside the world but what's in this bubble. That's the only reason they survive. Don't you know, in the world, the world got streets, cars, and everything. All they got to do is worry about what's in this low-ass bubble. They can't think outside the bubble. That's why they stuck on jail. All their conversations is jail. That's all they, everything is jail. Everything is inside the bubble. They can't talk about nothing outside the bubble because they can't work outside the bubble. Nothing works outside the bubble. He's stuck in that bubble. I swear to God, in this world, Eon Williams is a nigga down here in my comments. In jail, Eon Williams is the nigga in jail. He's the nigga with the books. He ER, big ER. But out here in the world, his shit just a nigga from the comments. Goofy ass jail light skin nigga who don't want no trouble with big psycho. Always somebody got an old head. Then it was fuck me up with these old heads. You know what I mean? Yeah, man, that's my big homie. That's my old head. He said this, and I'd be like, who the fuck is this old head? He on 59, and his old head something. You scared of a 70-year-old, bro? That man did that shit 20 years ago in jail when y'all was kids. His body don't even work like that, e -huh. He ain't your old head no more. That nigga a senior citizen. The fuck? I seen Eon, Eon, you 50. You talking about nigga, your old head and shit. I looked at him, that nigga had the cold <laughs> rage. I'm like, bro, y'all seen your citizens and shit. You looking up to this nigga, you scared to say this nigga name, bro? This nigga got dialysis, bro. What the fuck your old ass? This old ass can't duck a switch or chase me down the block. What the fuck is he doing? Oh, my mama, I be like, Mo, these niggas old as shit, though, like, you seen your citizen that, bro, that nigga did that shit in Lawton in 1963. You still scared of that nigga, bro? Yeah, that's kicking in now. Yeah, like, that nigga back don't even work. That little somersault off the top tier when he stabbed that nigga in the head in 2001. He can't do that shit now. His arm don't even lift that high, nigga. What are you talking about? That nigga legs don't even work. Y'all still running off them jail stories. That nigga did that shit 20 years ago with his body allowed him. Bro, that nigga don't even eat the same diet. He little and shit. Bro, come on, man. That man's 70 years old, man. Get that man ass, my fuck. fuck. Y'all scared of these old ass jail niggas. Bro, these jail niggas did that shit in Lord in 1993. Niggas was stabbing niggas in Lord. This nigga is 76 years old now. Y'all still respecting them like 1993? I will smack his old ass into old times. Fuck you talking about, I will push his wheelchair down a motherfucking hill. I be like, yeah, what the fuck you mean these old ass niggas? You talking about this old head? That nigga 63, bro, man, you don't sit your old ass down. Shit be crazy. That nigga be like, my big homie don't want me to say it, so I ain't gonna say it. <laughs> yeah, my big homie said not saying, there ain't no fucking big homie, nigga. That's a senior citizen. Only reason he's your big homie because that's the oldest nigga you know. <laughs> <laughs> nigga about to be touching six. He talking about my big homie. <laughs> on my mama, on GQ niggas touching sixty. On on my mama, everything Eon touched. Bro, Eon went to an old head convention with all old head niggas. On my mother, only person was missing out that motherfucker was Reverend Al Sharpton, bro. <laughs> he was old this shit in it. Old, old, old black niggas in the suit. On my mother, hey, Eon went to like an old head. All the old DC legends, Joe Smoke, they in there old and shit. I was saying to myself, if this is 1993, these niggas dangerous and shit. It's 2004. It's 2024. These niggas trying to make it home to their wife and eat some ass off the drinks, man. <laughs> these old ass niggas trying to make it home to their baby mother and eat some ass off the drinks. If this is 1993, them niggas went hard as shit. It's 2024. You old ass legend. That's like Superman. Back in the day when I was growing up, Superman was like that. I give a fuck about Superman no more. Superman ain't the gangster superhero no more. That shit was back in the day. They got new superheroes and shit. Who the fuck is a new super? Uh, Aquaman. Uh, what's his name? No, Iron Man. No, what's the nigga? What's the nigga in the black suit? Uh, black. No, black Panther. Black Panther. Black Panther. 
You retired, you old ass stupid heroes, man. Tuck y'all capes, man. That's like Michael Jordan, bro. Michael Jordan ain't Michael Jordan no more. LeBron ain't even about to be LeBron no more. You feel me? Yeah, this nigga's putting up them numbers every day now. Yeah, like niggas doing what Jordan did on the regular. You feel what I'm saying? You niggas still stuck in y'all heydays, man. You old ass niggas don't get some peppermints and go Murray Miss Maple at the church and get the fuck on. Them niggas old nope. this shit. They should Murray Miss Maple at the church, get some peppermints, turn to a deacon and get the fuck on. Yeah, they don't know the world evolving. They be like, when I was 18, I was running around with a pole. They running around with that at 12. You hear me? Niggas keep talking about, because, man, back in the day when I did this, bitch, back in the day when you did that, wasn't even no cell phones out this motherfucker, bro. Like, it's six years old with iPhones and shit, bro. Life is different, bro. Shut hey, now, fuck up. Like, you know what's different. crazy? You want to know how I know these niggas suck at crime? How the hell you get caught doing crime back in the 90s when what? cameras weren't even that good? <laughs> <laughs> Nigga, they need, you didn't even have a cell phone, God. so you couldn't even get tracked. Oh my God, you hit it right on the nose. Bruh, it wasn't even no cameras out. Like, you can get away with y'all niggas got caught when you can get away with shit. You niggas are fucking crashed up. He's like, it wasn't no camera. Bro, they had to write in newspapers and shit to tell niggas that niggas was on the run and shit. Like, y'all had the best era ever and y'all got caught. You dumbass niggas got locked up in the 80s and the 70s and the early 90s and shit. Like, there was the best years ever to commit crimes. You stupid ass niggas. It wasn't no cell phones, no Instagram, no nothing. You niggas got caught. Hurry and Tubman still got motherfuckers underground in the railroad. Like, come on, bro. Hurry and Tubman was running the rough fucking railroad. The whole motherfucking world. Even I know Hurry and Tubman ran the railroad. She ain't get caught. I ain't even from Hurry and Tubman days. We all know Hurry and Tubman was running motherfuckers through the underground railroad. She ain't even get caught. And we heard that shit in 2024. That shit happened in 1966. Niggas said they was getting told on. Go do the crime by yourself. Niggas was needing a, uh, a sidekick. If you do, if you go do the crime by yourself, since you so big and bad, it is going to only be you. They say, I'm enjoying freedom, and can't none of them take that from me. You enjoying freedom? I don't mean no harm, though, bro. 17 years of your life is gone, bro. You can act like you enjoying this shit. You ain't really enjoying this shit, bro, because I'm going to tell you what enjoying this shit is. When I'm your age, I'm going to show you what enjoying this shit is. You ain't enjoying this shit. Sleeping on baby girl couch, that ain't enjoying this shit, bro. Walking around with that little ass pit bull uh, five minutes from the ghetto, that ain't enjoying this shit. Riding around a baby girl car on live trying to start a YouTube channel, that ain't enjoying this shit. You want me to tell you what enjoying this shit is, bro? Go look at a motherfucker, a real 50-year-old that got his life together. Go look at a real nigga that's 50 years old. Go look at one of the motherfucking moguls, 50-year-old mogul. Yeah, 50 year old and retired and real shit. Real 50 year old on, on, in the real world, your shit embarrassing, but we gonna live with it because we from embarrassing. But to a real 50 year old, the shit you do, bro, you ain't even involved. They won't even let you in the 50 club, bro. You can't get in the 50 club. Like, you make 50 look crummy. You make, first of all, a 50 year old should have way more than me in life. Seen more, no more. Than other. Like, you couldn't talk shit to me. I ain't nowhere near 50, bro. I can get 20 years in jail now. It won't be 50. Your YouTube 10 years old and you still. That's even worse, than, bro. Your YouTube 10 years old, you just got it monetized after Ang Glizzy. You seen Ang Glizzy at 50 years old, you seen Ang Glizzy and it motivated you to monetize your YouTube channel. That's even worse, than, bro. You went to jail, you behind, you think of your head in life. A real 50 year old and you is embarrassing, bro. I'm going to not even use a 50 year old, just use me. Just compare you to me, bro. I have my own everything, I have a business, I have an income. I have, I make thousands a month. I make thousands on my name, my brand, my everything. By 50 years old, the whole world know I'm going to be a millionaire, bro. Like, you know I'm going to be a millionaire, bro. I've been a millionaire in a year, bro. 50, I'm 30. 50, by 50, I might have $50 million, literally. I don't see nothing less than 20 million by 50. 50? You keep trying to compare yourself to me, nigga. I just, I ain't even been out of high school two years yet. It really ain't been two years. They say, bro, you talking to the wrong one. I'm not talking to the wrong one. I'm talking to you, Eon. Eon, you live with that female. You don't have your own home. You don't have a home. Your mom left you a home. Eon, you're not doing nothing in the community. 
When you, I, I make this scenario, I'm about to go feed 1,000 people off my tab. You don't have enough money to feed 1,000 people. You couldn't do that. It's not in your budget. You're 50 years old. You should be able to walk in the bank and be able to feed 50, I mean, uh, 1,000 people if you want to, bro. You can't do that, bro. It's like, it's levels to this shit for real, bro. You trying to make ends meet. You got fired by the government for dirty yawn at 50. Emma, somebody said net worth is 55K. What is 55K? Mm -hmm. Niggas make more than that. Hey, yeah. Hey, work. Hey, look. look. Let me show you something. Hold on. Hold on. Let me show you something. He keep talking about a book, bro. I got a book, too. I swear to God, I got a book. Keep talking about a book. Bro, nah, anybody can write a book, bro. Anybody can write a book. Anybody can anybody can sell a shirt. I mean, anybody can make a shirt. That don't mean they sell it. Like you, fifty years old, just got fired from your job, your government job for a dirty yarn, bro. Like what, what world is y'all in, bro? Hold on. Bro, I'm in the, I got my own book too. You keep talking about a fucking book. I got my own book too. It say your net worth two million, and you don't got it, bro. Do you say that you're support? You don't even know what net worth is. Let me break this down to you. This is a nigga that's broke. You a broke nigga, bro. And I'm explaining the broke nigga. You think a net worth is your around money? What you got? My net worth is what I'm worth as a oh. Let me give you a scenario. If I got five cars, that shit. If I got a house, home, the microwave, and my whole net worth. Net worth is not the physical money you have in your pocket. My my physical money in my pocket can be bigger than my net worth. You don't know that, though. Net worth is shit that's like, shit, they tallying up numbers, they adding and shit. Net worth is not your money, bro. I don't think you know that. You don't know that because you don't have money. Net worth is not your money. Net worth is shit that they trying to tie in. They put make bills. In yeah, like liquid assets. YouTube. All these little accounts, they adding all that shit up. The shit you pay for through your name and shit, that's what they adding up, bro. You talk about money. Money is not your net worth, bro. Stop being broke, and maybe you'll understand it, bro. You broke. You just, like, you won't understand it. I wouldn't speak if I don't know. Only a broke person would think your net worth is your money. Like, that's some broke shit, right? Like, it's your net worth, bro. That's an estimated number on shit that they feel like they can estimate through shit you buy, you see, and shit you do, and you make it. So don't say Eon broke off the books. Eon is broke off the books. Let me tell you why Eon broke off the books. Who the fuck is buying the books? I can show you YouTube paid me $180,000. He can't show you you made $180,000 off books. The books don't do shit. The fuck did he buy with the books? I went from Barber House to this. I, this is my shit. This is not my girlfriend's shit. I have my own cars. I have my own jewelry. I got every fucking thing you can have. I'm not posting throwbacks. I'm not talking about a $200 passport, bro. <laughs> Niggas don't have, have anything. Go, go Google Barber Sun TV LLC. That shit gonna pop up. Business. Go Google Eon Williams Business. That shit not gonna pop up. He talking about EonWilliams.com. That nigga bought a fucking domain and thought it was a business. Of course I'm a business owner. You can go type in business.com and Glizzy gonna pop up. I own a business that make hundreds of thousands of dollars a year, more than the government job. The government make 40, 60, 80. I make more than a hundred thousand dollars a year on paper. The IRS knows this. Let that shit go. Eon, we know you broke. Bro, everybody know you broke, nigga. Your friends know you broke, nigga. You act like, bro, ask your friends, ask your homeboys. A nigga with money gonna know a nigga with money. Ask my little brother, do I move like a nigga with money? Ask my friends, do I move like, ask anybody that be around English, do I move like a nigga with money? You don't even move like a nigga with money, bro. You ain't got no money. Your bitch gotta work a nine to five to keep the bills on. My girl, that shit is optionable. She do what the fuck she gotta do. The house gonna be paid, man. The bill's gonna be paid. The car's gonna drive. That girl gotta go bust her ass every day or she not gonna have a car. She gotta bust her ass every day or she not gonna have a house. But she got a nigga. The fuck? I'm a grown ass man. I'm gonna have this house without her or with her. So if she come in and she ain't gotta bring no money with her. Her money is her money. My money is her money. That's how we live, nigga. I'm a nigga with money. That girl gonna work every day. Without that job, she would not have that car. Without that motherfucking job, she would not have that house.
You half ass niggas, man. You 50 years old, still living off of a female. I got this house with God just without a girlfriend. So if my girlfriend come, why is she paying half the bills? And you never live in the house. That's the kicker, though. Why would I live in the house? Your generation, let me just tell you something. You lived in the house, right? Say the house cost $1.5 million. You never had $1.5 million in the house. So did you live in the house or was you just living? Just, or was you just standing in it? Because you damn sure ain't own it. The house in DC cost more than a million dollars. You never had a million dollars in your life and you feel like that was your motherfucking house. You better get the fuck out of my face. I told you, you old niggas are washed up. You old niggas is done. I'm going to go buy a house by myself to just go pay a three times more light bill. I'm just going to buy a big ass house just for a big ass light bill to walk in some rooms and be like, hey, go in there. But, nigga, a house in DC costs a million dollars. You never had a million dollars in your house. And a million dollars in your life, how the fuck do you feel like you ever owned a house? Then the house would be little as shit, though. Like, <laughs> like make it make sense. You old ass niggas washed up, bro. Guess how you owned a house? Your mother went and owed the bank for 30 years. I ain't talking about your mother. She ended up passing away and <laughs> left, you, left you the house, and now you feel like you own a house. No, you own your mother debt. That's what the fuck you do. And the debt, the debt, the debt from that house rolled over straight to your ass. The fuck you talking about? You ain't gonna tell the world that. You talking about you own the debt. Wait, and left you a house that she was still paying on. And the debt rolled over to your ass, and you sitting right here bragging to me like we don't know a dead person house is debt. Like you don't know you get the debt from that shit. You get, the property. Cool. You, you, get, you, you get the death, the property tax and all that shit left on your name. Like it's like you feel me? But if your mother had sense, she'd have put the house through the trust fund and you ain't had to pay all that shit when she switched all the shit to your name. But you wouldn't know all that because you an old washed up ass nigga. You was in jail. You was in jail. So when your mother passed away, she left you that house. She left you a rack of property tax, a rack of bullshit. Your name fucked up. You ain't got no money. That's why you fucked up out here. You feel what I'm saying? You feel what I'm saying? She left you a big ass bill. But if she'd have put that joint in the trust fund, you can't touch the trust fund. You know what I'm saying? You'd have been cool. You feel what I'm saying? The house should have been in the trust. The house shouldn't have been. But she didn't own the house to put it in the trust. But you was a uh, you was in jail. You ain't learned this. I was out here learning business and homes and real estate and equity. I'm about to go buy some houses and shit. That's why I'm telling you this because I'm about to go buy some houses, right? Just what I had to do. They told me I had to go get a bit. They had to told me I had to go get an LLC business bank account. Boom. They said I had to go uh secure credit card get the unsecured now i got the unsecured they told me now you go you go ask now they said you got income coming in more than ten twenty thousand dollars a month it showed all the credentials coming in and you got more than a hundred thousand dollars in the savings so like with shit like that you can go ask them like yeah i want to buy a house so say if i go buy a house the house costs 150. boom Bro, you just... go hold on Chulu. go buy the house for 150. once i go get the house for the 150 i take the the house to the bank to the bank i want to hook the house up can i get another hundred they give me another hundred that's 250. i fixed the house up for them for 250 i fixed the whole house up new house is ready to sell boom i go get the house appraised they appraise the house from 250 to 800 thousand whatever the extra is from 250 to 800 i take out for me i owe the bank 250 right i'm gonna get a bank they 250 out that money all the extra money is mine that house right there i'm just gonna rent it out let somebody else live in it and i'm just gonna make an annual income off of it and with the extra money i got i ain't about to go party i'm about to go buy another house and do it again again and again until i play monopoly out this motherfucker that's what i'm trying to do with my life but while you was in jail for your 17 years trying to figure it out i was out here for 17 years trying to figure it out you broke ass nigga why he keep trying to pay himself to me though he keep talking about i don't own nothing he feels it <laughs> That's the nigga who bro miserable with his life. You gotta realize he trying to compare himself to a nigga. Bro, I ain't even, bro, I'm I'm not even twenty yet. I'm still a teenager. Bro, I, I swear to God, I graduated May twenty twenty two. It ain't even been two years. Bro, it ain't even been two years. For a fifty year old to compare himself to a nineteen year old is crazy. Like, crazy. You don't gotta pay yourself to him. He don't even know you nineteen. He's so lost. He don't even know you nineteen. That nigga just see a rack of tattoos he, and just think I'm just he old. He just you're a grown ass man. He don't, he don't even know you just graduated from high school. <laughs> he can't even just remember. Just give me two years. He can't even remember his high school days. That's how old he is. He can't even remember high school and you just graduated from high school. Bro, that nigga damn near. That nigga was in jail before I was born. He was in jail after I was born. That's how long he been on this earth. He lost. You lost this one. Uh, you lost this one. Uh, Pink Panther. You too old for this one conversation. You know how you shut us up though, Eon? You hit the button to show some money, but we know you ain't got no money. 
Fuck that. Show, show the. Hey, y'all. Uh, if Eon Williams can show $10,000 in cash on GQ, I get my passport to Bob on TV. He can have that joint. Like, if he can show $10,000 in cash right now on GQ, I will never get on his live again. I will call him the best. We never bid. He went. He don't got. He, he can't show you 10000 in cash. Fuck 10. He ain't got five. You said you think I'm a kid that want to hang out. Why would I want to hang out? Bro, oh, you just saying anything. I don't even know you. You just talking, bro. Uh, this him? No, then look though. Let's give him the floor. Since you're 50 years old and you productive, tell us. Let, let's go. Your life. Your life story. Let's go. All right, finish what you're doing, man. I'm just let's talk. Nah, I'm, nigga, what are we talking? We what you got? You finish. hold on one second. Man. You keep saying you keep talking about talk, nigga. I ain't come on here for you to do. So you can be talking, rough. You can feel like you talking to a man. Matter of fact, you can have it, you. What you about to leave? Finish what you were saying. Man. I'm okay. just saying. You know, like, the young niggas got the ball. Like, what can the old head show us, though? All right, come, come, can we do this, though? Can we get, like, a, bro, you know I got a room just for YouTube, dude? You got one? My pension failed, though, but, like, let's, let's get, like, I got, I got Picasso's and shit in my house. Bro, I got a light. Bro, you probably couldn't even come in that girl house with this light. I swear to God, she brought this light to that girl house. Like, no, what you doing, you know? Girl, bro, you keep sitting okay. there talking like you don't bro, know. You, you, come, hey, Eon, come, come on, Eon. I know, I know the girl house. I know the girl apartment she living in all that. Come on, man. Stop that shit. I don't I live in an apartment, but, I know the girl, you posted, I know, but you posted my house, I, though, right? I know the girl. You I, that's your mother's house. My that's, house, that's, you know, like, that's your mom house. I know your apartment. Where that girl live at? I know who drive the Audi, and I know her government name. Do you need me to go keep? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead. But you posted one of my houses, though, right? Bro, that's your mother house, bro. Bro, my mother been dead for a thousand years. How does my mother house? Bro, that's the, how I found the house. Your mother name. Bro, if you knew my mother name, you could say it. No one knows my mother. Bro, name. that's how we found the house, bro. Your mother. Bet you a hundred thousand. Say my mother's name. Bro, we got the number. Say my mother's name, man. I'm gonna get it for you. Just give me a second. I'm gonna get it for you. Right, right, hey, Tulu. Next, huh? As a matter of fact, I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get it done. But, bro, we, found, we did that. Don't just say Eon Williams, bro. We found the house because your mother. Bro, if you did that, you would know my mother's name. Bro, did, was that house ever in your mother's name? Nope. Okay. Now we know you lying. We don't like lie. you. I you run with a story. You the one saying. I just wanted. To, I just wanted to see what you gonna lie. Yeah. <laughs> no, but you got I, the house I, I because just wanted, I just wanted to see what you gonna lie. I just wanted to see what you gonna lie. You lie. You would. Hey, you know my yeah, How old was your mother when she died? You supposed to find that out, hey. bro? How you gonna ask me about my mother? This, You're not I'm even watching in DC, truly. This is the kicker to it all, though. Bro, cut the camera. I tell you where you at right now. You can't even cut the camera. Just cut the camera and let me see a back wall or something. Just let me see What's a wall. What's her name, baby? Nah, nah, I don't feel like that right now. I know exactly where you at. I know her name. I know where she parked her you car. You lied. She sure don't know her name. If you knew her name, you would, been, you would get everything out. I know her name. I know where she parked her car at, and I know what floor she live on. And My I, mother? I, 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 no, fuck no. I'm talking about you. Who bro, you I don't have a have girl, bro. No one likes me, bro. No one can hang out with me for a long time. All I'm telling you is, bro, you know who doorknob, <laughs> you know who doorknob you be turning. I don't be turning on no right. doorknob, man. If so this, all right, he listen to me. Dead, no right, listen to this, me. Remember this, y'all. He don't turn doorknobs. He don't know what I'm talking about. So when y'all see this female, like, why the fuck did Aunt Lizzie put this out here? That's because Eon didn't stop it before it started it. Just yeah, remember, yeah. a little bit later on, when y'all hear, damn, Aunt, you put my... Just remember, we could have stopped it early, Bruh, but one thing was true about me, you know, I don't do no crime. It's cool. I say, go, it's I say, cool. do you all the time. It's cool. It's okay. A motherfucker should have no vulnerabilities in life, bro. Remember, that's like gone okay. in 60 seconds. You shouldn't be attached to nothing you can't walk away from right now. Okay. I live like that. You talk, I, don't, I live like that. I don't. Everything yeah. around me, I can't walk away from none of this shit. Yeah, I can. That's because you ain't got nothing. You right. <laughs> you right. <laughs> you right. I can't walk away from this shit. IRS gonna find me. I got a lot of obligations and bills to pay. Yeah, man, congratulations. Yeah. You stepped it up, man. You done came a long way. No, 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 no. Fuck that. All I'm here to tell you, man, we ain't need we ain't fucking with you old heads. We don't fuck with you niggas anyway. How old mind tell me? We ain't fucking with them old heads. We ain't fucking with them niggas, man. Them old head niggas bored as shit though. Y'all y'all see how they got them down, got nothing to talk about. Like DC old heads broke the shit. All we get is Eon and Big Psych broke ass. <laughs> like, no, yeah, they ain't the money. I was waiting on the money. At least Buster got a club, y'all. Like, all oh, them stop. 
but 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 Buster is a businessman. man. But that's one thing about it, though, club, though, the bathrooms me. might not work in that motherfucker. At least he trying. At least that's Buster got the formation. Club. Like Buster understand it as an old head, you gotta own some shit. You gotta be a business owner, the businessman. Buster got him a couple keys and locks and doors he can turn and see them. Them niggas ain't them niggas though. Them niggas are first. We'll, we'll vote Buster move over them niggas. At least we know we can sit in martinis. Big Sykes so home on his hill, he got a way to read the paperwork. He had to go link up with Buster. <laughs> <laughs> Eon can't even get too loud in that house. Nah, look at my Jordans though. I be doing my Jordans greasy though. Like, look at my shit. See how it's great. though. I be doing my shit northwest. Nigga said I asked about his dead mom. I'm asking what age did she die, dickhead. You talking about we wear Jordans? I mean, we wear not Jordans. Gucci. Gucci. I don't even wear Jordans. Wow. I don't listen to these. Get the lit old heads and we get all the broke ass niggas. Niggas, I don't even wear. Don't care about that shit. Look at the other broke ass nigga right there. They bored as shit. Look at them. Let me tell you how fake these niggas are. It's Ramadan, and these fake ass jail Muslim niggas ain't even Muslim no more. We got one fake ass Muslim right here. He was drinking Don Julio all last night. He woke up this morning. Ain't supposed to be arguing with us. He been drinking Don Julio all night. He woke up this morning and thought he was fasting. Like the Don Julio jumped out of his system for Ramadan. These oh, fake shit. ass ox, these cool fire ass niggas. It do hit different when your baby mother went to jail for uh, endangerment to a child. How the fuck did you, that's how much they care about their child though. If the mother went to jail for endangerment of a child, ain't y'all gonna sit down and try to fix life and figure it out like y'all moving too slow? Like, fuck this internet shit. We gotta get life together real quick so baby boy can be all right. This unfit ass father still shitty as shit on the Instagram just playing bored as shit on the box and got no yeah, life. Yeah, keep one, post you and shit like. Just post Ang Lizzy all day, just a bitch ass Ang Lizzy promo. Like, nobody even give a fuck, right? Just keep posting. He been doing this for a month straight. Bro. Big lame. Give it up. It's over with now. It's a coming from somebody who like that sneaky head. I told y'all what I tell y'all. All he talk about is dicks and jail. If you can't get these old heads, DC old heads, I'm talking about nothing but gay shit in jail. I swear to God, my mother. He got a son, a child. This is my father. I hate life, bro. My mother, I smoke my father as my father's on the internet doing this shit. At 50. Bro, I never listen to my father. Like, bro, you on the internet doing that, bro? You got children, bro. You, like, you a father. Like, the gigs up. All that little kid shit you been doing in jail and shit, bro. You got a newborn. Yeah, you childish ass nigga, bro. You a fucking father. You somebody father on the internet worrying about Aunt Glizzy Dick. Like, who the fuck did something to Aunt Glizzy Dick? You making up Aunt Glizzy Dick rumors. You got a newborn baby, but you more into worrying about some Aunt Glizzy Dick rumors. Like, you kept my dick on your mind for a month straight. Like, you realize you, you, the nigga so gay, he made up scenarios like he was dead. He pitched it. Because, you man, he swapped it. Did he did? Did he did? I'm like, damn, you got my dick. You envision Aunt Glizzy Dick in your mind. It's crazy, bro. You old niggas are dangerous, bro. Like, let that shit go, bro. <laughs> nah, that 
That is crazy, like, though. The imagination crazy, scene bro. by scene is wild. Then, not even that, you went and asked the nigga about, like, you went and asked the openly gay person, like, bro, what's up with Aunt Lizzie dick, bro? Like, you went and asked the nigga about my dick. Huh? Like, you don't feel like that's my Like, you went, and, you went and DM'd the nigga, like, bro, what's up with Aunt Lizzie dick? That's your true. What size is it so I can tell him? He did that, that for real? Oh, my mama, bro. What size is it, bro? How big is it? Is it black or is it brown, bro? Like, come on. like what the fuck? He did it, though, bro. Nigga, real live, when they asked the nigga what size, what color is my dick? No diddy. No diddy. So he don't think that was, that was. Then he started putting together imaginary stories and shit. It's like he mind fucking. A situation that never happened. He imagined and put his own little twist on it. He mind fucking the nigga, bro. That nigga get his shit, man. It's like Tom and these old heads. No hands, diddy. Man. He probably thought it was so funny. Like, he was like, yeah, I'm about to go ask him. Like, yeah, I didn't even know it. Like, what? Like, do you not know what you're doing? Look at him. He think this shit cool. This shit fun. Said, Bro, you a nigga father. Talking about the color of a nigga dick. What? Like, your son gonna be your son. No, nah, that's out of pocket right there. Let Will Roy babysit your son. He can't see his son. They took the kid. Nah, uh, the they took the kids. Nah, uh, the, the grandmother got the son. The mother can't be around on though with her uh her unstable mom ass. Go let Will babysit the baby then. The mother had to start using drugs because she had to deal with sight and all his shenanigans. She got tired of that shit, so she got to, she had to get hot. The baby mother got locked up for endangerment to a child, bro. So the mother the mother a drug addict and the father alcoholic. The father is a fucking bum. The father look though, the father's so goofy. He keeps talking about he drive he drive a Genesis, bro. Like the whole city know that's bow car, bro. I show you pictures of bow in that motherfucker, bro. You driving around in bow car, bro. That is bow car, bro. Them bow chains they took down see the gods, bro. That was bow money, bro. You bow dick man. Bow say hold his dick, you hold his dick. Bow say you stand on the corner, you stand on the corner, bro. The whole city know you know for being bow ball boy. You riding around another nigga car like a nigga flying you out like a bitch or something like. That. Hey, so what bow excited about another nigga car? You and on my mother. You you better be lucky. I know it's bow car. I switch cheese that motherfucker. You look like you can't get your ass switched in bow car, nigga. Fuck you talking about, nigga. Switch cheese that motherfucker. Fuck you talking about. I tell the world it's bow car. The fuck? Cause I know a couple of niggas looking for his kid ass too. Talking about nigga. Oh, you talking about that? Nigga, this ain't the internet called you a bitch on the internet. Called you a bitch ass nigga in person. I don't think your knife worked that day. I don't think your mace worked that day. I think you follow direct orders. I told you you want to come in the club. I pay your way in the club. Come in the club. You drawing them. Come in the club. Police outside out. Fuck in the club. I told the club I'm paying your way. I told them I'm paying your way. Come on, did you come in? No, cause you's a bitch, nigga. You not trying to do nothing. You ain't tell them that. <clears throat> ask Cray, ask the whole world. How I said, come on, big fight. I'm paying your way and come in. You with us. You could have came with us. You're scared ass, nigga. Touch anything I love around here. Do anything besides talk. I'm gonna kill your bitch ass, nigga. You gonna die. Right. Right. You can get your ass left. Right. <laughs> Play with something around here I love, or do something besides talk. You gonna die, <laughs> nigga. Fuck you talking about, nigga. Right. Right. You that gang? So your ass follow orders. Better link up with your baby mother and talk that shit to your baby mother. That's the only person. Yeah, person. tell him he survived Lauren. He should be able to survive this. Yeah, that's the only person believing that shit. So all you jail niggas that be respecting this big soft ass nigga, he come home and this what I do to him. I curry his ass. This ain't jail. This ain't no five by nine. Ain't no knives and shit. That nigga is harmless. That nigga a bitch. He can't survive out here. Of course a 300 pound man against a 120 pound man in a jail cell you can get over. Outside them some niggas that's 120 be curry your bitch ass like me. This for all the bony niggas. Let you know. I put your ass on dialysis out here. Your big soft ass nigga. Big Sight did all that shit to jail niggas, came home and Aunt Lizzie been curring his ass around this city. He seen me, he ain't do nothing. He seen niggas over the jail. He's over the jail, if he see a CO, he still will try to stab you. Out this motherfucker, he see Aunt Lizzie, he ain't gonna do nothing. Ain't nobody, come on, man, he ain't gonna do nothing to me. Niggas a bitch, like on my mother. You know why he's still institutionalized? He talking niggas. about he was gonna stab you. Like, this is the free world. You yeah, like, like that. niggas on that jail shit. Niggas go hard in jail around and die mess with niggas scared. That ain't, it's even playing field out here. You don't run shit out here. Bitch, like, you's a bitch. I will tell you a bitch in front of your baby mother. I will call you a bitch in front of your son. Like, you don't run shit out here. What you gonna do, kill a nigga? No. You ain't know nothing. This ain't jail, bro. This ain't with like big niggas press out little niggas, bro. Nobody give a fuck about you being big, bro. You's a big ass bitch. 
the same shit I told you on Instagram, I told your ass when you was one foot away from me. I called you a bitch ass nigga right here. I seen you right here and called you a bitch ass nigga. You had this energy on the internet. When I see you, I'm gonna do this. When you seen me, you didn't do shit. I swear to God, you didn't do nothing. If you with security, I told you, I'm be with security. If you with security, fuck your security. I'm a knock bad. I'm crashing out. I'm bringing and I'm doing all that. You seen security? You didn't do nothing. I called you a bitch ass nigga right here. I called you a bitch ass nigga in person. So obviously you must be a bitch ass nigga because you ain't did shit yet. And I called you a bitch ass nigga on the corner when I pulled up on. I called you three bitch ass niggas. When the fuck you gonna do something? Soft ass nigga, you a jail nigga, bro. This ain't jail nigga. That shit old. Them old ass stories. Big psych, y'all to the community, to the streets, everybody who respect me. That nigga's a bitch. This nigga's a whore. This nigga don't do nothing. This ain't jail. The fuck his baby mother just got locked up for child endangerment. They don't even they can't even they don't they don't even have a solid family. He can't even keep his baby mother his baby mother's damn near crackhead. The fuck this baby mother dirty and shit. Big crummy ass nigga. Like be acting like he lit. You not lit, nigga. You drive around in bow car. You might as well let bow fuck you. Like suck the tip about dick, cause he damn near gave you everything you got. Driving around in bow car, talking about that's your car. I know some bitches that dated bow that been in that same car. They got videos in there with the headboard and all that. That was before you even been in it. Fuck. Keep bluffing the shit. No ditty, bro. Your day is over, bro. That little ass five minutes of clout. That shit ran out, bro. Your dick right there. You ain't got no money. You ain't got shit. He didn't, he didn't come out that situation with nine, but some Instagram Say, Why do you hate me? We don't hate you. We don't know you. We was doing this shit years before you came. Dick riding. Chulu been here since 2019. It's 2024. We don't know. You will act like we need. Is you, you dick rider. You came on here, hit this bus. So I talk about Aunt Lizzie and started all this. I got his paperwork. I got this. At first, you didn't know me. Now you got my paperwork. Oh, nobody know you, bro. We don't give a fuck about big psych. We wasn't on the internet on no big psych shit. Your dick riding ass needed us. The fuck, I guess jail got bored and your dickhead ass came on here and hit this line. We ain't never been to jail, so how the fuck we know you? We don't even fuck. You know you, bro. You in the comments today. You need us. We don't need you at all. We don't give a fuck. If about you was really you. You smart, but Lizzie. you would have just. If you don't say Aunt Lizzie Chulu, you disappear. We don't fucking know you. All the shit you did in jail, we don't give a fuck about that. That shit don't last over here. We don't fucking know you. As a human, we don't know you. If he was smart, he would have DM'd you and said, "Let me tell some of my jail stories on your platform," and you just break me. No off. bullshit. You came dick riding, the nigga. And now Dick Ryan got you. You only got no friends. No old niggas your age want to be around you. It's embarrassing to be around you. You the nigga that be out here well. You fucked up your whole curse and think you looking sweet, bro. Your baby mother dirty and shit, bro. That tamp ass bitch, bro. My mother. I wouldn't even stick dick in that bitch, bro. You had a baby by that bitch. You don't even know your baby mother. You met your baby mother because her brother was locked up. You was in your brother's cell. You was in her brother's cell and you went home and fucked your man's sister and had a baby by the bitch. You don't even know the nigga. You keep talking about your baby mother brother. You don't know that nigga. You met that nigga in a jail cell, went home and fucked his sister, and came home like that's your baby mother you lit. Bro, that newborn baby, that's the day you met her. Fuck, you don't even know your baby mother. You ain't even know your baby mother three years. You don't know that bitch. The fuck? You went in there and pillow talked to a nigga. He told you about his sister, and you went home and fucked the nigga's sister. And now you feel like you just, come on, man. It's your lame ass on. You don't even know that bitch. Stupid ass! You ain't know that you ain't know that bitch was gonna be a uh a unfit mother. That nigga sat there and told you his sister got an apartment in the car down Wellington. You said shit, I ain't got nowhere to live. I'ma fuck your sister and have me a spot to stay. Fuck wrong with you? Went and fuck that man's sister for a spot to stay at you crummy ass jail nigga. Then he said, "Why we hate him though?" Uh, like people best stop talking about you, and you still going on with the situation. You hear me? Just keep popping up with shit. Every day, ain't glizzy dick. Like, go look at this Insta story and see how many times he on mind. Like, it's gonna be like, like fifteen stories of you. Your life is ain't glizzy. You can't talk about nothing but ain't glizzy. You so ain't glizzy dick, you don't realize it. Damn, I haven't been talking about nothing but ain't glizzy the last four months. Ain't glizzy. Just look everything. Where you at now? 
Aunt Glizzy, how we know you? Aunt Glizzy, what you gonna talk about today? Aunt Glizzy, what you gonna talk about tomorrow? Aunt Glizzy, Aunt Glizzy, Aunt Glizzy, but you need to worry about your baby mother and how her unfit ass got caught with the motherfucker. Nah, then it's out of hand. He going, he he on a live watching you, then he go to the YouTube nah, video. Nah, nah, for real though. Now that I see the mother being fit and all and you playing like that, we might need child and family services to get your son, man. We might need to help the child, man. Might need to help the child though, bro. Like for real though. Cause like you the father and that's the mother, that child can get hurt. Bro, send that baby up for adoption or something. Let somebody take care of that damn child. Get that damn child a real successful motherfucking home, bro. Got that little boy living down in Wellington. Then on the weekend, he going to visit his father at a motherfucking program. Man, what the fuck is wrong with y'all? His father on the GPS couldn't take that boy to Disney World if he wanted to. The fuck? You would take that nigga to a detention center before you take that nigga to Disney World. He got a better chances of going to a detention center seeing his father than his father taking him to Disney World. You don't give his little ass up for adoption. You don't need that little ass piece of shit. You don't give his little ass away. You put his little ass in the shoebox, write a letter on his ass, and give his ass the Salvation Army, that little piece of shit. Because that's what y'all treat him like, a little piece of shit. At the end of the day, your baby mother went to jail. They ain't do nothing put his little ass in a property bag and send him to you. But you piece of shit ass nigga. Put it in the shoebox and send this little ass to the Make a Wish Foundation, man. Send this little ass the fuck on, man. Go ahead, little psych, man. Go live your better life. Your mother and father are some crackhead shit. They on some your mother and father are <laughs> unfit parents. Yeah, stupid ass. Stup your stupid ass parents. <laughs> Put this little ass in the motherfucking uh, seal sub. Send this little ass in the Amazon. Put this little ass. In a donut case and just set his ass in Safeway and hope somebody buys his ass like a donut. <laughs> Put his ass in the donut joint and just hope somebody buys his ass like. They be like, Dad, it's gonna come with a baby in it, man. Just give me seventeen dollars, man. What the fuck, get this little ass out of there. <laughs> Shit is crazy. Set his little ass over. They say, I'm a fan. Why are you disrespecting my son, bro? Fuck your son. You don't understand this shit. I'm going to make you understand this shit. Fuck your son. Fuck your baby mother. Fuck your baby mother. Fuck her mother. Fuck your life. If you died, I'd come to your funeral and I'd spit in that motherfucker. If I had enough hey. to spin that motherfucker, hey, I'd hey, spin that motherfucker. Hey, hey, I'm not hey, your hey, friend. I'm not hey, your hey, man. I don't hey, give a fuck hey, about hey, you. Hey, hey. You wrong as shit, though, first of all. Man, right. this you blue ass son out of here some Uber Eats right. on my mama. <laughs> Sit his, his ass out like some DoorDash. What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> you wrong as shit. Though, all right. First of all, why you go back and forth with a nigga who keep lying about paperwork? Baby mother abusing kid. He on ass hard. Come on, man. That make you look bad. Hey, man, why well, look though, I be bored. I love the content. That <laughs> man, now just, I can just, just swag I'm on him bored. though. <laughs> now I can just swag. Now look though. Now he about to say, man, this nigga. Now he gonna start talking about you. He don't know who is who. He don't know what's going on. He confused. Man, I don't give a fuck. He's talking about me all he want. He on ass. I know psych, man. Come on, man. We know psych, man. We not about to sit and go back and forth about this shit, man. We not about to do this shit, man. This nigga on ass hard as shit. We ain't doing that shit. Anytime <laughs> you still worried about a nigga, you still call a nigga the pink pants and all this other big wild gay shit, man. We ain't worried about you, nigga, nah, man. I just, these I, old niggas keep coming home and shit with all these jail stories. Nobody want to hear that shit, <laughs> man. This shit is dumb. Nobody want to hear that, man. Take your ass back to Lord. Nobody want to hear that shit, man. <laughs> nah, for real. They talk about it so much. Nobody go back. Just go back. Nobody want to hear that shit no more, man. Psycho over there scratching. That nigga ain't stressed. He's scratching. That nigga scratching bad. It's his baby mother beating up on <laughs> kids. Got nowhere to go. Like this shit be tired, man. Sit his old ass down some fucking way. Nobody want to hear that shit no more, man. He clear, he clearly seen your mother. And this the this the crazy part. He talk all this big wild gangster shit. He seen Miss Barbara by herself walking the journal motherfucking day. You know I mean? Nigga, if it's really on some nigga, like you said, smack her and spit on do something. I want to hear that. Nobody want to hear that shit no more. Shut that shit up. I want to hear that shit. And no then more. I gave him a pass though, cause he, he sneaky tried to record her, but she don't give a fuck. Nigga, don't be even record my mother. Like I could have went off and like, don't be record my mother. Like what the fuck? Nigga, man, nigga, man, nigga, man, nigga, man, nigga, man, you feel me? Like 
Like, cause first of all, you already wrong. You record my mother like watch your her daily walk. Like Bob exercising. Like let Bob on Instagram time or nothing. Like chilling. Yeah, like come on, man. Bob out there exercise. She probably had a whole Nike fit sweatsuit exercise and shit. Probably had dumbbells in her hand working out and shit. Yeah, like, like leave Bob alone. Like come on, bro. <laughs> Yo, he leave Barbara alone, bro. I ain't gonna lie. Like, leave Barbara alone, bro. Like, come on, I hate that. Like, leave Barbara alone, bro. Like, Barbara ain't got shit to do with shit, bro. Leave Barbara alone. Nah, bro. for real. With her dumbbells. Like, come on, bro. Like, like, little do they know, bro. I've been here since you've been on the balcony, bro. Like, come on, bro. Leave Barbara alone, bro. Like, come on, man. Barbara ain't saying shit to nobody, man. Come on, man. Leave Barbara the fuck alone, man. Like, this shit is getting played the fuck out, man. They don't, got no, they don't got no other way of trying to get to me, so I guess they use that. But it'd be like, bro, Barbara's so clear, bro. Barbara in the ghetto living her own life. She ain't tripping off no big TV. <laughs> And Bob ain't even tripping off them niggas. Like, come no, on, man. Like, literally, and like, she seen him and knew who he was. She wasn't tripping off that shit. That's what I'm saying. Like, that's what I'm saying. Like, that's what I'm saying. She even said your name. Like, come on, bro. She know what the fuck is. Sit your sweet ass down, you sweet and sour chicken ass nigga. Nobody want to hear that shit. Sit your ass down. Come on, for real. He's talking about Mo, what we know you. We Everybody know your soft ass sight. You the big goofy ass nigga. Who we swear he go and on? And then look though, he forgot kid rolled through there looking for him. Nigga, you ain't outside. Like, say, come on, bro. Like, stop that shit, bro. Like, come on. I know he don't be outside. We know he don't come be outside. Come on, bro. Hey, you see the OT man? OT man jumped up. OT man was high. She said, who? Nah, I ain't seen him. Shit, I don't know who that Whole is. Whole time. That's his right hand. <laughs> that's psych right hand man fault. That probably is Uncle Earl. Probably is. <laughs> Uncle Darwin. <laughs> <laughs> that <laughs> Uncle Dark throwing out there like man, that. that probably is Uncle Earl, man. You might, might want to hear that <laughs> shit, man. Sit your ass down somewhere, bro. Why we hear that shit? Like, come on, you told him to come on in the club. I pay your way. He wants any festival. Shit, man. Get your ass. Like, why hear that shit? Man? Get your ass on somewhere, nigga. So I'ma stab somebody. You know niggas out here got switches with a thousand rounds in them bitches. Might wanna hear that shit. Might wanna hear that shit. Might wanna be talking that dumb shit. You still you know, think he, he in lockdown? Well, this ain't lockdown, nigga. This ain't 1990, nigga. This ain't none of that, nigga. You better take your big, strong, goofy ass somewhere else, nigga. Then it's like, hear that. Then it's on like, me. He on ain't, me. He, blow, he be blowing me on me. He ain't on even, me. He ain't even known out here for no gangster shit, though. That's the game. Oh, already, no, my man, my uncle already told me. My uncle already told me what what's up with us. I don't, I ain't, I don't want to hear that shit. Man, I, don't, I don't want to hear that shit. My people's already told me what's up with the nigga. That yeah, nigga. I, I don't want nobody to hear that shit. Man, you better go finish making peanut butter and jelly sandwiches for your cell mates, you wild ass nigga. Yeah, he's so goofy is. He just worried about Aunt Lizzie Esco and this, bro. It's millions of people that know your goofy ass. When you walk around, bro, everybody know you. You ain't going to know when the day you get hit over the top of your head because the nigga want to make some content. Man. Because you want to be viral. You want to go viral. On me. On me. On me. <laughs> Imagine on how viral one of these young niggas would be if they knock your ass out or strip you ass naked. Mm. On me. Right. You hear me up? Matter of fact, y'all, anybody can send me a video stripping Big Strike ass naked. I got a thousand dollars. Oh, it's over with something. Anybody hey, you ain't strip him ass that, naked hey. or smack the shit out of him, I got a thousand dollars. You ain't seen the live when he was on live with Wayne Prairie Bay Mother. No, nah, what is over there, Dick Ryan? Man, him, he was going on Eon Slim. That sh that shit was funny as shit though, Slim. That shit. Nah, was you funny. know what's crazy? The old heads came here together. They all split up now. They all got into it. But look, look though, hey, you know, if you think about it though, they did that to their damn self, fucking dickheads. How y'all gonna try to come and motherfucking? Do hey, some YouTube shit on the nigga that's already doing YouTube. I got a thousand dollars for anybody who's strip him ass naked. Don't harm him. Don't harm him. Just strip him ass naked. Smack the shit out him. Nah, you. I got. They I, charge I got it. man. I ain't gonna tell y'all who I'm talking about because if you put a name on it, it's a charge. But I ain't telling y'all who I'm talking about. I'm just talking about to the sky. On oh, oh, me. Oh, <laughs> nah, you know what it is. It's just like trying. Nigga go 1v1 LeBron. Like, you trying to come in here and troll some niggas who've been doing this for years. Like, that's the thing, though. A lot of motherfuckers, see, that's the thing. A lot of motherfuckers been on this shit since, since, since Slim ass on the bottom. Yeah. Since Anthony yeah. Todd ass on the bottom. Like, y'all gotta remember, like, a lot of us been here, bro. So, you trying to come in and troll the motherfucker. And my mind, I ain't saying doing nothing. I'm just telling you the truth. Like, 
You can't come here and try to do some shit a nigga been doing for the, for the last past four years, four or five years. Like, you can't, like, you just can't do it. Like, it ain't gonna work, Pep. You need to try another lane. Yeah. Pep. It ain't gonna work. The nigga you was in jail. We was out here trolling. <laughs> nah, for real, nigga. When you was in there making peanut butter and jelly sounds and doing, and doing jail. And then when he only know, we was doing way more numbers than this. Nigga. Hey, don't let him would've seen 10,000 on every day. He would've been fiending for it. Oh, yeah, them nah, them yeah, he, yeah, he got, he got, he said he, he, he wasn't here when it was 8,000, 9,000, 11,000 months from season. Soon as you start, he he start the live, too, like, like yeah. five minutes. <laughs> he went, so that's what I'm saying, though, bro. So, you, yeah, hey, I'm going to tell you, too, man, I, hey, the way how you do Bob is on TV now, bro, when you got to, when you interview him yourself, bro, I think that's more better, bro. I ain't going to hold you. I think that's more better because I ain't gonna hold you real shit. I ain't know you knew peas. I'm so good. This nigga got peas. I'm so I so yeah, his little bucket head ass putting the city it just, on. Oh, it just it make it easier though. Like yeah, burst ain't nothing but a link in the phone. Little, little egg head ass putting the city on for real though. I, I got more that. conversations for niggas though. Like I got better shit coming on though. I got but after that, bro, like 10 people, like industry people hit me trying to get them jokes, bro. Like that shit opened some doors. I think peasy, bro. That shit deal just put us on a little bit. Nah, for it, real. Hey, nah, somebody, hey, nah. <laughs> somebody said, somebody somebody said the home. pandemic lives were different. Nah, them pandemic lives was different, though, Slim. I ain't gonna hold you, Slim. No, my ain't nobody had no lives. Ain't y'all want no pussy to kick it out? Everybody had money. So it was like, niggas wasn't stressing. Niggas was just straight men. And it wasn't no stress. Everybody was getting it. Everybody was stressful, but it was there. Everybody was getting it. Was it was there, yeah. It was definitely there. If you, it was definitely you, there. If you, if you couldn't make you a band in the pandemic, you just wasn't in it. Like, you just wasn't like, oh, the way the fuck you was at, like. Man, niggas was niggas, eating good. Niggas, niggas eating you shrimp, a thousand dollars just to pitch your name on something. Man, niggas <laughs> eating shrimp, steak, lobster. Niggas eating motherfucking. Bro, they was paying you to come out outside. Bro, niggas. Nah, for real. Niggas, hey, was, nah, for real. niggas was in Airbnbs paying $12,000 a month rent while they mother still was in the ghetto, bro. That was backwards, but I mean. Niggas in shock house. Niggas renting shock house for a month. Nigga at shock house for one point five. He split the bill at shock house for a month. <laughs> the niggas say they Nah, shock. nah, that nigga Flunk nah. was in LA on the news with Diamond Grills talking about some. They was like, You gonna wear a mask? Why would I wear a mask when I just got these? You ain't see that? You ain't see that? That news clip? Man. Oh, yeah, niggas was buying goats and some more shit. Niggas had goats and some Bruh, more shit. Bro, we not trying to get your song back. I, 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 I ain't talking about We don't care. No, no, no. We not talking about No, no, no. I want to ask him no. where he know me from. We know you from the He said something about me. No, no, no. We don't know me. Okay, so what? No, you need to friend. You need a friend. You need a friend. No, no, he just want to talk. He want to be friendly. No, we not friendly. I want to paint his ass no mind. I just want to see his face. He begging me. No, and I just want to talk to him. No, don't put me down. I just want to talk to Rico. I just want to talk to him. Like, don't do that. He came on here with his arm behind him. Man, you don't want to be down. I know. I think you ain't Glizzy. I just want to talk to him. Shut your soft bitch ass up. Now you begging. Now you'll be begging to be on the live. Like, is you a or You a bitch. I'm confused. Like, more than you a bitch ass shit. Like, I got the paperwork. The next one's like, no, can I stay? Can I stay? Can I please just talk to him? No, I'm not talking about you. Shut your soft ass up, man. You bitch ass nigga, man. I don't like your curse. Hey, hold on. What you about? Hey, didn't he go sit at Martini for like a good hour or two for free drinks? Yeah. Drinking lemon drops with his with his with his pinky up in the air and shit. Talking about some bonjour. Yeah, he sure went over to the fuck bus. Nah, I ain't gonna put that on. Matter of fact, me and Bus be doing. I ain't gonna put that on Bus. He went over there to do some weird shit though. Bus say, Nah, don't even don't even do that to Bus. You don't, I, don't don't do it. Man, don't even do I, it. Don't, nah, I, I mean, forgot. Oh, I bust almost caught a straight. I didn't mean to put that. I take that back. I'm about to say, see, nah, you send you sending straight bullets. Don't man, do it. Bus been doing. Man, Bus been doing good. First of all, good job. Hey, good job. Hey, hey, good job. Hey, good job. Hey. Good job, eh? Hey, I, I commend you okay. on that one. Good job. Good job. I just want you to know. Man, nah, Buster still dick Ron. Buster ain't him, though. Buster ain't him. We gonna nah, give Buster nah. credit. Buster ain't sight. Hey, nah, but nah, nah, nah. Buster not Bust? him. Buster not him. Buster not sight. Nah, we, 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 nah. That, that's, that's, that's Buster something. Buster so, nah. Buster, Buster understand him. it. Big Psych don't understand it. Big Psych don't know. Big Psych on friendly time. Bro, Big Psych on friendly time. You can trick him like, hey, Big Psych, man, that shit was about no big TV. <laughs> and I'm going to knock his ass out on my mother. I'm a, bro. I'm gonna catch Big Sykes somewhere. He ain't gonna know, bro. I'm just gonna know. I'm gonna be mad. I'm gonna get behind. I'm gonna steal the shit out of him with my YouTube camera already. Run. I'm gonna run. Like, I don't give a fuck what the punch. I'm gonna punch that nigga, though, bro. I'm gonna catch his ass off. Nigga, he be locking like shit. I'm gonna punch his ass off. My mother. Hey, how you gonna do him? Mm. He talking about break. <laughs> I'm gonna punch his ass. I swear to God. 
<laughs> he make me so angry because he swear he just so gangster. Like he just swear he just so tough and nobody can't do nothing to him. That's why I'ma let him know. I'ma punch his ass. I'ma punch the shit out of him. Listen to me. I try to set See, him. Look, I try I, to. Nah, I. I try nah. to set him up for real. You, you, I try to set him up at the. I try to you, set him you, up at the club. You, like, you, come on you, in, you, man. You come to the club. You, we ain't know nothing. I was gonna glass him. Like. Once I glass for my security, nah, I, know. Hey, I ain't gonna hold you. I ain't gonna hold you. He's smart. He's smart for not coming to that motherfucking club. Because if you knew what I knew, he w don't go in that club. I was bro. trying to get don't, him in there. Don't. Come on, hey. Man, this is cra the crazy part, though. The we nigga so loose. He told me, man, I'm going to the club with my knife. I said, knife? Bro, you gonna live for my security shirt? He ain't take that gun off his hip. He walked straight past him with that damn gun. They both did. You just watch a nigga walk, lift your shirt up with a pistol and walk in there and you can come in there behind him with your knife on the fight. Come on, come bring your ass in. Because if we know, we know, yeah, it's going to be Swiss cheese up in that bitch. Hey, bro, we... Justify Murder is the best murder. It's the best motherfucker. Because I'm going to wake up in the morning. What's up, y'all? This ain't Glizzy, this Bob is so cheesy. Hey, hey, no, hey, no, you ain't done. Just smoke the nigga. Oh, my God. Man, them the best jokes. That nigga just don't understand, man. Them the best jokes, man. I swear to God, them the best jokes. I mean, That's he had me stay, man. Nobody tell me on that me. That's why I want to know, though. Like, he keep acting like, first of all, bro, we never going to be cool. You put some fake-ass paperwork out on the nigga. And, and you always trying to put some gay shit on the nigga name. So guess what? When I really, you just know the big TV me. Like, you don't know the real, and I swear to God, bro, go find somebody to know Aunt Lizzie before this big TV shit happen. They going to tell you, bro, and to shoot your ass, bro. I don't know who the fuck misleading you. I don't know what you want to know. But it's ha, 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 it's funny, daddy, because, like, I'm in this little system. But when you catch me not on this time, and you catch, it's going to be a whole different ball game. I'm just going to tell you. It's going to tell you. It be like that sometimes. I don't yeah, know who told you. Who gassed you up and who, like, man, this nigga goofy ass internet nigga, who, who, but do you know who the fuck my mother is? Do you not know what type of blood she got run through her like veins? My mother made Kid Esco, my mother made Saeed Evans. What the fuck you think? That shit ain't in my blood, bro. But then again, though, all, man, niggas should understand, though, bro, for the niggas you be around, them type of niggas, the niggas you be around, bro, some certified niggas, so I'm quite sure them, if them niggas knew you was on some fuck, some dummy shit, bro. Them niggas yeah, gonna be even bro, hanging around you, bro. They don't understand how like, you value move. Like that, that, like you got see, motherfuckers don't understand. You gotta put two and two together, bro. Like, come on, bro. He, he the, the, the nigga be around some motherfuckers that's real live, some motherfuckers. So you really think them motherfuckers gonna hang around the goofy motherfuckers and they name that, is on that shit? That's why Psych don't got no friends no more. You gotta understand that shit, bro. Niggas nowadays, certified motherfuckers ain't putting their name on no goofy shit. Ain't nobody doing that shit no more, bro. You keep talking about who is this, bro. This is going to be the nigga that knock you outside your motherfucking head, big psych. It's all right, psych. All I'm telling you, this is psych. Psych. On Tuesdays man, and Thursdays. Hey, man, hey, man, hey, man, listen. Hey, psych. Ass, on, psych. on Tuesdays and Thursdays, your probation officer, your, the building is not that safe, bro. Big psych, you lose this shit, bro. You drive a Genesis. If you see that Genesis oh. spot, all right, I'm going to give you a scenario. Big side. Everybody drive a Genesis, If you go man. to the court building and your blue Genesis out there, you left your mace and your baton in the car. You ain't going to court building with your knife and your baton. Your ass ain't that big. They got a uh, ass detector. Somebody said you couldn't even beat Dave. Why y'all still talking about that? D listen, listen. If I get paid 20000 just to show up, bruh, you think I'm not going to show up, if bruh? Like what? That shit was with fist on it. I'd have knocked Davy out. I mean, granted, yeah, and threw the fuck up, yeah. <laughs> bro, that's anything. My, I, bro, that's any nigga, <laughs> any nigga in the world who feel like you ain't in shape and you can go in the boxing ring. Bro, that ain't even boxing, bro. You can run. Like, I don't even, man, I, I forgot y'all. Y'all not in shape to understand. If you ain't in shape and you run to the corner, you gonna spit up. Smoke weed for 365 days straight and go get chased by the police. By the end of that police chase, you will be spit up. That shit ain't got nothing to do with boxing. That's your, that's your health. That's your body. That's your car. That's the way the body works. Man, that shit, man, that shit take a lot, sir. Like, do you not know lot. what a boxer do? Do you not know how long it take a boxer to prepare for boxing? They've been doing that shit since birth. Nah, they got to run miles and shit. <laughs> Niggas man. been running jogging since five yeah. years old. Man, you hear me though? Nah, bro, that shit, man, that shit, nah. You, you, 
Y'all are not yeah, professional nah. boxers to understand I had on the spa gloves. We didn't have on real boxing gloves, so nobody gonna get knocked out of them gloves anyway. Floyd Mayweather can fight me with them. Nobody's getting knocked out with them gloves on. They're 16 ounce sparring gloves. Them the gloves people use not to get knocked out. Y'all don't know that. They heavier. They got more cushion. They could not run a professional fight with them gloves on. Y'all don't know that because y'all not professional boxers. It was never going to be no knockouts in that fight anyway. The gloves wouldn't allow you to knock them out because that's the type of gloves they use. They use 16 ounce sparring boxing gloves. I mean, both of y'all weighing motherfucking 90 pounds a piece. I ain't think it's going to be a motherfucking knockout anyway. But you got a regular street fight, bro. You can, uh, nine, uh, 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 a street fight, bro. I don't give a fuck who you is, bro. You can hit on your shit by 15 ounce boxing gloves. He's never going to sleep, ever. Oh, yeah, nah, for sure. That, 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 that's, that's, that's true. So, so hands and boxing gloves is different to me. That's what I'm saying. Like, hands, bro. A, hand, a street fight, bro. You feel this shit. A boxing glove, that shit. It's boxing. Mm -hmm. This motherfucking chin, you that's going down. That ain't no boxing glove. He ain't trained to get hit by a bare fist. He got trained to get hit with a boxing glove. Yeah, yeah. Motherfucker don't, don't understand that shit, though. That shit way different, Slim. You know? That shit way different. That's all I'm saying. It's a come on site, me eat it. No diddy, man. Nobody tripping on no motherfucking site. Hmm. No Psyche boo boo. Why right, we about this dumb ass, man? Tell him live his life, man. He all right, man. Tell him live his life, man. He did his time. Tell him live his life. Tell him worry about Fuck his life. Fuck fights, nigga. Go set, go set up a home for your child to live in without his mother going to jail for fucking his life up. Get off the internet. You still on the internet, bro? You in the car right now. You sitting in the car doing nothing with your life. Go be a fucking parent. Go buy a home. Go get a job. Go do something. You're sitting around miserable as shit, like doing nothing. Somebody said. He on ass. Yeah. <laughs> he's sitting in the car waiting on somebody to fuck. Hey, like, I never seen a nigga sitting in the car waiting and just want to yell on the phone about dicks and shit all day. Like, you in your phone just talking about homo shit all day. Like, go live a life. Go do something. He ain't trying to see me. I don't know what he's trying to see me See me for. Right. He see me. It's going to be a totally different meeting. I don't know what the fuck he's trying to see I thought he was going to get some food, bitch. I'm hungry. <laughs> What you talking about? He, he see me. He's going to be a whole totally different me. I ain't doing no talking. I ain't, look, niggas ain't playing mm -hmm. shit out here. And neither am I. What you talking about? <laughs> he ain't trying to see me. His ass going to see the upper room fucking with me. <laughs> I don't fuck with that nigga. That nigga goofy. I'm going to curry that nigga. From now on, I'm going to curry that nigga. And I swear to God, you lucky it was my birthday. If it wasn't my birthday, I swear to God, anything else, I would have beat him up. I swear to God, it was my birthday. It's like my birthday. I can't fuck with my birthday. If it was some, it was like a cool night that I was out, I was told security, hold my chain. We whooping this nigga. Fuck that club. We ain't going there. I would have made it my duty to beat you the fuck up. Only reason I didn't, because I had my girl in the car, we was in a Corvette, and I had Bay out. If I would have brought Bay in, I was just with the men, we'd have beat the shit out of you. I would have kicked that shit off myself. I'd have stole you. My security would have beat all on you. We'd have just beat the shit out of you. I just swear to God, though. Like, you only got a pass because it was my birthday. I was in birthday mode. If it was any other day, we'd have beat you the fuck up. I swear to God, you'd have had to get beat up. Once I would have stole you, what the fuck you think? The niggas that I hired not about to punch you too, we'd have punched your ass, bro. Nah, nah for real.